Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, we'd made it to the Midwich Elementary School, uh, hot on the trail of our daughter, or, well, so we think. So let's start exploring, shall we? Now, fun fact about this place, um, it was actually modeled on the school from Kindergarten Cop, apparently. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny when you think about it. This game has actually got a uh, school modelled from a comedy film, but it was because this game had a very small budget, and um, instead of you know being flown out to an American school uh, for research, they watched that film. <laughs> anyway, right, let's start exploring the reception area because there is some information here that may be rather important going forwards. It's written in blood. 10 o'clock, Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's water. Hmm. All right, Chief. It's written in blood. 5 o'clock, darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. Hmm. Okay. It's written in blood. Twelve o'clock. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped and lost in tongues. Awakening at the ordained order. So, seems to be that we have a bit of a time puzzle here. Well... We can't go this way. And if we try the door at the adjacent area, we can't go that way either. So, one way we can go, before I completely forget, is through here. Now in here, we're going to find ourselves a lovely little care package of handgun bullets. Why there are handgun bullets in the... Uh, what I guess is kind of like the reception staff room. I don't know, but we're not here to question it. Let's go through the large doors leading directly outside. And it looks like we have found some new enemies. Yeah, these guys are called mumblers. Now, they're not in the PAL version of the game, apparently. But luckily, they're not too much to write home about, as long as we don't get trapped, three good shots, and then kick him in the head. So, it mentioned a chemistry lab, which is on the second floor. So, it seems reasonable that that's going to be our first port of call. We'll explore the rest of this later on, I think. So if we go this way, we need to start making our way upstairs. Uh, also, whilst we are here, we may as well check out the teacher's room, I suppose, which we can't. In fact, if memory serves correctly, we can't check any of these and there's two toilets down here but they don't actually have anything inside so we're not going to worry about those but we can unlock the uh, corridor that we couldn't come through earlier now if we go down here there's nothing absolutely nothing nothing inside so let's head upstairs to our alchemy experiment okay looks clear so far oh I spoke too soon hello seems reasonable to put this guy down first he's done he's had enough now let's have a look through here it's quiet too quiet. So we have lab equipment room. I'm pretty sure we need something in here. 
There is a chemical. Take it. Yeah, seems reasonable. I don't think there's anything else useful in this one. You would have thought it would have been the perfect place for a health drink. But alas, no dice. No matter. We've got an item, which means we need to find something to use it on. I'm going to leave that gentleman alone for now. I'm sure we'll be back. Ah, a hand. How curious. Let's grab up some more bullets. Now, the school isn't actually a very uh, long or difficult area, if you know what we want. Now, we know we need to give this hand some sage's water to open the future or something. Now, we don't have any sage's water, but we do have um, some concentrated hydrochloric acid. So, let's give it a dose of that, shall we? I wouldn't breathe that stuff in if I was you, Harry. But, you know, your choice. Okay, so that's that. Let's get back out into the hallway. We might as well explore as much here as we can. While we're here. You little bugger. Honestly. Well, things are going to get worse before they get better, I think. Can't go through that one. But we can go through here. Into the library. Now we can hear that we have some monsters. Or something is in here. But I'm pretty sure it's just one of those love, lovey children. Oh, three of them. Hey guys. Yeah, these guys aren't going to bother us too much. At least... Not yet. Now let's go check out this door. Now this door... We do have something to worry about. Come on, you little bastard. There we go. A few good solid shots to his brain. This is enough to knock him down. Okay, so it doesn't look like we've got much in here. No special books in here. Well... I guess the special ed is somewhere else. And as Harry says, we don't need to read any of these books. Uh, he's probably right about that. Okay, we don't need to worry with any of those kids. So let's start exploring the classrooms. Pretty sure one of these classrooms actually has a health drink in it, but... I don't think it's this one. Let's go for the next one. Ooh, now we have some poor, unfortunate souls. Come on, Harry. Hit your targets. Man, that was pretty piss poor. He's not winning any of Marksman Wards anytime soon. We'll grab the bullets, though. Health drink on any of these tables? Nope, doesn't look like it. Sad face. Oh, hello, little fella. Where's your hall pass? Ooh, you little shit. Oh, only one thing to do with these truants. Step on their necks. We've got another lava child there, which we're not going to worry about. So that area is pretty much sorted. Let's keep exploring. Yep. There's a few in here. Light up these miscreants. One bullet at a time. You can see Harry uh, isn't exactly the most accurate person on the planet, which is going to sort of bite us in the ass, but luckily there's plenty of ammo. Evening. Oof. Just a cat. Good cat.
We like cats. I mean, I guess there's some gribbly monster that also likes cats around here. I'm sure there were no cats harmed in the making of this game. Anyway, I don't think there's ever anything we can really search or find in these lockers. Unfortunately, there's so many lockers here as well. They just generally seem to contain nothing, which is curious. Evening. Was it you that killed my cat? That will cost you your life. We don't abide by animal cruelty. Ooh, this is the piano room. We'll be back here later. Okay, so how are we doing for explored rooms? Right, we need to head behind us. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Which means we have to go all the way back round. God damn it. Yeah, there's actually stuff that we want as well, so. Alright, might get to waste some monsters along the way. Keep old Barry Burton happy. Yeah, looks like it. Nope, it's just one of those lava ghost kids. Don't need to worry about them. And we know we've got all the lava ghost kids in this room. Which we're not going to worry about. Okay, you sir, on the other hand. You can go to the giant kindergarten in the sky. Or in the ground, depending on where, how you look at things. Okay, I actually thought there were some bullets out here, but there isn't. Or maybe we've already picked them up. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, you know, it's interesting that there's no controversy around this game. Obviously, running around a school, blasting young-looking uh, enemies. Probably kind of questionable. But I guess that was fine. Whereas uh, Resident Evil 5 gets all the silly controversy, I suppose. Anyway, we get some handgun bullets in that. Which is probably worth grabbing. Now, we've opened up all the uh, corridors up here anyway. Uh, let's check out the classrooms whilst we're here. You never know. Unless you do know. Nothing around here. I could have sworn there was a health drink somewhere. Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? I think I know who I am. Be pretty awkward if I didn't. Aha! Little bastards incoming. This is going to get worse before it gets better. For them. There we go. Just stamp on them like a big old bag of shit. Ah, there's the health drink that I was thinking of. What have you? Yum. Uh, right. How are things going? I think, yeah, that's this pretty much explored. So, now we've got our golden medal. I assume it's about time we go use it. So we need to go back downstairs into the uh, main outside area, which I believe is that door. My memory's still pretty bad. Um, the courtyard, that's where we need to go. Because there's a rather important... Ooh. Did I really miss that? Huh, okay. Actually profited from going through the wrong door. Anyway, back out into the courtyard. I guess we can waste some of these. There we go. Feels good, doesn't it, Harry? Blasting away monsters. Certainly uh, used to make Barry feel better. Okay, so... 
now we need to go put our gold medal in here. A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface, found in the chemistry lab. Well, let's go slot that in there, golden sun. And I'm guessing that has advanced the time. It is now 12 o'clock. Now, if we remember... At 12 o'clock, we've got another class to attend. We have to attend... Oh, we didn't go to the infirmary. Let's go do that quickly. We have to attend the music class. Which is my favourite class, I think. I think this is the infirmary. Yes. And that would have sucked, because there's some goodies in here. This is also a save room. Now, I believe there's a health drink and first aid kit. Two things that we really want. Cool. So, let's go back through and upstairs and attend the music class. Because we've got a date with a piano. And this time, we're not playing Moonlit Sonata. Which is still a wonderful piece of music. Okay, so the music class is straight down. Cool. And we have managed to open it up as well, which is great. Now, I must say as well, just like how fantastic this game looks on the emulator on Duck Station. It really does look pretty, pretty banging. Now, to the music class. Well, that piano's seen better days, isn't it? So, it's written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. Now, that without a voice is important. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver award? Well, all of them, actually. So, if we come over here and have a look at this piano, there's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Yes. Yes, it does, Harry. We're going to check the piano. So, we'll notice that there's seven keys here. Or should I, I think it's seven keys that work or something like that. But there's exactly five keys that don't work. Now remember, birds without a voice. So, some of the birds are white and some of the birds are uh, black. Now, using a little bit of process of elimination and, uh, you know, <laughs> knowing this game somewhat well, we know that it was pelican, then it was dove, two white birds, then it was the raven that flew above, and then, uh, let me think, raven swan which was next to the dove. And then at last, it was the crow. And if you do that correctly, we'll get the silver medal. Oh my, a silver medal. Very nice. Now, we'll go scoop that up. There's a silver medallion, take it. Yes, laddie. So, we have pretty much extracted everything from here. So, I guess we're going to go back down to the courtyard. There is another floor that we can go up, but not yet. It is still locked. So, our only clue so far... Ah, okay. He's just a friendly little fella. 
You know, we can go down this way. And we can go miss all of those enemies out. Although I think it's just a lava child. Ooh, these, on the other hand, are not lava children. Or at least child, because there was one. Or, oh, no, there's more than one. I don't think we really need to deal with all of those guys, though. Pretty sure we can just head on through here. After all, we don't need to waste ammo for the sake of it. Not that ammo is really much of an issue in this game. And I'm sure you can also see just how good Harry actually is with the handgun. <laughs> yeah. Not that great. But also, um, you can see how good the handgun is. It's not like Resident Evil per se, where you will eventually, you know, find better weapons and that makes um, previous weapons kind of obsolete. The handgun actually down, uh, stays pretty relevant throughout most of the game. We've got five of those. We've got 16 health drinks. God damn. God damn. So, a picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface, found in the music room. Well, let's go use that. Now, if we remember, we should, in theory, have advanced time once more. So, second floor is completely tapped out. There's still some stuff we can do. Okay. So, it should now be... I need to turn my headset down because it's absolutely deafening. I can't even hear myself think. So it's now 5 o'clock. And if we remember, at 5 o'clock, that written in blood script mentions the basement. So, seems like a good place to head next. But before we do that, we're going to explore these rooms. So we've got a classroom here. Let's go see if there are any riches inside. What I would like to see is some handgun ammo. For God's sakes, man, some handgun ammo. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if I had kids, if I would send them to this place, to be fair. I mean, I don't think they're going to be getting much education. Okay, but we do find some more handgun rounds. I guess all the kids were bringing it to school. Fair play, you know. At least this would be one of the safer schools. So we've got a hall, which we can not have access to. And have a couple of rooms here, which I have a feeling we can't search. Yeah. Now this one might have some goodies in it. Ah, this is the one we already raided. Yeah. And it says, the lock is jammed. This door can't be opened. Well, that's too bloody bad, you hear? Yeah, so later on in the game, we'll be seeing those ghost children all grown up, I think. If my memory is accurate anyway. So, let's go down to the boiler room. I believe the most efficient way to get to the boiler room is this way. Yep. Now, I don't think the room next to the boiler room is openable. No, locks is jammed. So let's go and ignite the furnace. And we know we can do something with this because it's got a big red button attached. And with that, something's happened. The valve is tightly shut. I can't move it. I don't know what it is for. Better leave it alone. Yeah, probably not a terrible idea. 
it's not start mesh, uh, messing with uh, you know valves and pipes and levers and things when you have no idea what's uh, gonna happen you leave that to the professionals the stars for example so from what I can understand now by doing that we should have opened the clock tower which was behind us all along being a sneaky git and this looks fun it's a long way down Harry but what's that we can hear sirens you know what that means we've transitioned Transitioned into the other world. Which is a part of Silent Hill that I love. Where am I? Where am I indeed? You're not in Kansas anymore, boy. Indeed. I don't think it was there before, Harry. Just saying. Anyway, guys. I'm going to leave this video here. We have now got to technically the third area of the game. So the second half of the school. And being in the alt world, things are a little bit more screwed up from here. Uh, and this is a good time. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.